So today's brew tip is to talk to you guys about good ways you can get yourselves out of what we like to talk. Three, two, one, let's do that again, ready? So today's brew tip, we're gonna talk to you guys about good ways that you can get yourselves outside of the sagittal plane. Five exercises that we like, that we like to build in for people. The first exercise we're gonna talk about is going to be a single leg deadlift. So we're gonna do all these with a kettlebell. You guys can do these with a barbell, you can do them with kettlebells. It's not that important which way you decide to do it. it, depends on how much weight you want to load with. So Rob is going to show you a single leg deadlift. So all he's going to do is one leg off the ground, hinging at the hips, his spine still stays neutral, and he comes back up. So straight back down, just like a regular deadlift. He's alternating legs. You can do all of your reps on a single leg and then go to the other one, or you can alternate whatever you're more comfortable with. But building these in as kind of part of your recovery piece, they're in your performance care segments, but if you're not looking to do those and you just want to get out of the sagittal plane, this is option number one. Another good option for you is going to be a suitcase deadlift. So a suitcase deadlift, if you've seen our videos, Rob's gonna go heavier because he's a boss. What we do is set the weight up next to your ankle, stand straight up with it. It's an anti-rotational deadlift. If you guys did 17.1, you saw that single arm snatch. This is a great way for you guys to train anti-rotational movements. Um, we do it with a farmer's handle oftentimes when we want to get heavier. We'll stand you up on the top of a jerk block and have you pull from a little bit of a deficit. Another exercise that we like to build in is going to be a carry. So Rob, let's do a single arm carry. All he's going to do is grab that and walk. So right now, Rob is loaded towards the floor on his left side, which means he's going to be activating all the muscles on the right side of his obliques to keep him from leaning in that direction. Obviously, one of the things we like to talk about is doing this super heavy, and we'll do those with farmer's handles because they're balanced really nicely. The next exercise that Rob is going to show you that will get you outside of the sagittal plane is a waiter's squat. So a waiter's squat, we're gonna bring that kettlebell up to the front rack on a single side, and then Rob's gonna go ahead and squat straight down. Again, this exercise wants to pull him to the side. It wants him to lean this way, so he's gonna be feeling this stuff start to fire up on his abs on the left hand side and also on the right because that's where he's going to be resisting from but this is a great exercise that's forcing you outside of what is technically the sagittal plane the last thing rob is going to show you is our fifth and final exercise there are many more but this is the one that we're going to show you today to get you outside the sagittal plane for the shoulders so all he's going to do is a single arm high pull pulling that kettlebell up like he's zipping his coat and because his arms are traveling out over here if we extended the arm right it's here but if we extend it he's going out this way this is an exercise that will resist external rotation in the shoulder and is traveling what we call the frontal plane and it's a great thing for you guys to build in. Again, all five of these movements and a plethora more are in your performance care segments, but if you find some extra time, you don't have the full time to do a PCS and you just want to build in a single exercise, all five of these are a great option to train outside of the sagittal plane.